Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how to model a chair in Cinema 4D. We are going to work with the parametric tools. So I guess this is more of a beginner's tutorial? I don't know. But it shows very good the strengths of this program, especially when we are dealing with uh, such curved forms, such organic forms. So let's get started. So first of all we are going to switch to the top mode and start drawing a spline. It doesn't have to be that precise. We're gonna fix that later. Just gonna draw a basic form, like so, and hit escape, and make sure that the values match the X center. So I zero them out, because we are gonna mirror it now. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna throw in a symmetry object and uh, I'm gonna make it editable and drop the spline out of this null. And right now we have two points intersecting each other. So I'm gonna delete this point and join those two points by hitting right click and say join segment. And now I'm gonna close the spline. But I don't want these jagged edges, so I'm going to switch the types. And um, this spline works best for me, so I'm going to adjust the shape now. Scale it a little bit, maybe. Okay, that's looking good. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a bent deformer on it and play with the strength and of course it's not the right direction so I have to rotate it like so and now if I put on some strength you can see that there's something happening but I have to rotate it to the other direction also make sure that keep y-axis length is checked and uh, we get this. But we have this sharp edge here. We can solve that by going to the size and upper the Y size and uh, we get a very smooth curve now. Next step is to add some thickness by hitting the extrude. And as you can see, it's kind of wrong because the bend modifier is only affecting the spline. I have to put the bend modifier out of it and group the extrude and put the bend into the null. And now if I add some thickness, that's the wrong one. Yeah, this is correct now. You can see everything looks good. Now I want to make the inner part. For that I'm gonna group the extrude, duplicate it, and going to that spline, go into points mode, and select all points and create an outline. Make sure that create new object is selected and just click and drag it to the left. And let go of it. And as you can see, it created a new spline. We can delete the old one and play with the thickness now. And as you can see, we get this. Maybe lower the thickness. Yeah, this is looking good now. What I want to do now is I want to make some smooth edges by going to the caps. Go to fillet cap, check both. And if you want to keep the size, the original size, make sure that constraint is checked. So now I'm gonna maybe lower the radius a little bit. Yeah, two centimeters is fine. And also upper the steps to make it even smoother. All right, and that's basically it. So what we can do now is I can uh, change the type to quadrangles and make a regular grid so we get some good topology. Now I'm gonna throw everything into a connect object, which makes it easier for me for the next step you will see in a second. Uncheck weld, make the fong mode to manual. Okay, 
Next thing is I want to bend it a little bit. So for that, I put an FFD modifier on it or an FFD deformer and play with those points. So select those two points and push them forward. As you can see, it bends. This one to the back. Yeah. And maybe squeeze it a little bit by scaling it down. Also these two points maybe. And this is the beauty of parametric modeling. You can always change something if you don't like it afterwards. So I need more points for the sitting section, so I upper the points on the set and just push those up. Yeah, this is looking good now. And I'm just making some final adjustments to the shape now. Now I'm gonna model the chair legs. Just create a cylinder, put it into a cloner, set it to radial and just the height and also the rotation. You can do that by going to the transform and play with it. And I want to taper them. And this is what I want, yeah. Now let's quickly build these cross sections. Again, create a cylinder, put it into a symmetry and adjust it, rotate it, playing with the length. Now to the shading part, I will do this in Redshift. I already put an HDRI in it and I'm gonna work with polygon materials. So I have this plugin, which makes it very easy for me to import any kinds of materials. So I'm gonna change the tile size maybe and import another material for the wood. And put the same materials on the legs. Also create a metallic material for these connecting lines and put a plane on the bottom. And that's basically all there is to it. So if you find this useful, hit the like button, follow me, leave me a comment and I see you next time. Bye.